Welcome back to our journey. If you're new here, please take a moment to click the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. In our last episode, Allie and I headed over to Bainbridge Island to sit down with Lori and Scott, live aboard owners of a 1993 Vista 50. We learned about their boat and what they like and not like about living aboard. This week, we take a tour of their floating home. So come check it out with us. Well, let's go on a tour of Scott and Lori's 1993 Vista. It's a 50 foot and it was actually also made by Horizon. So let's take a tour right off the bat. Um, I love that it's easy to get on. Again, remember with the liveaboard, you're gonna have groceries, you're gonna have, just don't mind me, I've got a hair on me. You're gonna have to haul your groceries on. So this has got an easy step onto the swim step. Uh, their tender right here is not in the way. So I love the fact that on the transom here, you've got plenty of room. You could put a couple chairs here. These lights tell me right away that this is an aft cabin. So I'm excited to see what that is like because that is a big for us. You can also see here behind Scott, they've set up some storage for their poles. This is easy to handle. And that's key too, because you know, these, you and I used to bungee jump, or yeah, bungee cord ours, and you'd have to undo the bungee and then hook it back up. And I love that this is just right yeah, here. Just rod holders. Yeah. That's, that's never so simple. So simple. So let's go take a look and see what it's like. Right away, again, only three steps in, which is just like our old boat. So I like that, that's convenient. Check out this awesome cockpit. Uh, you've got, it's all enclosed. So in the winter you can hang out. Um, and in the summer you can get a great cross breeze. Yeah, the, the, the icing glass is huge. Here. Yeah. They're, they're just, I, I don't know if you can see this on here. But it's almost like a sunroom. It's like a picture window. <laughs> <laughs> it's just enormous. Yeah. And then here you've got a wet bar with a sink, refrigerator, an ice maker, storage. You can put all your drink stuff in there. Uh, you've got more storage behind Scott where you can put more things there. And you have all this space. You've got this huge table that actually folds down if you wanted to. Or you can have dinner for six, eight people. Have a nice buffet. Yeah, this is just really good. I love space. the space. Really do you really want nice. to go out and look at the bow? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Wow, look at the walk arounds here. Look how wide they are. And yeah, I love, really I don't have to do the, I don't have to do the, no, they have comfortable <laughs> hand grips at both locations on the left and the right. Nice flat bow. Yes. You could put a couple of chairs out here. Yeah, that's what Scott and Lori said, that they do great sand dollars out here. Yeah. And I have a drink. You've got your electric winches yep. for your anchor. And look at the size of that thing. Yep, nice windlass there. And look at the view that they have here for their... Yeah, you can Somebody. see, if you peek through here, you can see the buildings from downtown Seattle. So what's also great here is they get sunrise and sunsets. Yeah, they they're actually have an east-west yeah. facing uh, slip. So yeah, this is really, really nice. It's so quiet, quiet here. You can see all the really pretty trees now that it's fall here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see all that. come through on video here, but yeah, the, the seasons are changing right here. Beautiful. Okay, let's go uh, back in and we'll check out the flybridge yep. and then we'll give you on a tour of the inside. Perfect. Again, I like that it's just a couple steps up. You know yeah. me trying to get up to a flybridge. And look how bright this is. Um, well, couple... One of the reasons it's so bright. Yep, so this, um, they had this made, this hardtop made for them, uh, had canvas and the canvas was starting to fall apart. And one cool thing is, this is kind of a do-it-yourself kit. You order it and then it makes, brings in so much light, yeah. but it also protects you. You know, just like we said. It's not gonna leak. Yeah, and That's just like we thing. said, for, for Scott and Lori, that is a deal breaker. You gotta have a covered uh, flybridge for, for living here in the Northwest. They are redoing all this. So in the next six to eight months, so we're excited to come back and see what it all looks like. Look at how much seating they have up here. They said they have a, had up to 13 people. Wow. This is a table again, kind of like down below, this lifts up. 
So you can put some cocktails here. Yeah. And when you don't need it, it's out of the way. It's out of the way. Yeah. Like He's got great visibility from here. Oh, Easy yeah. to see the bowsprit. Yeah. Um, all their electronics. Nice, comfortable captain's chair. This looks brand new. And uh, does have a bow thruster. Yep. So again, that's key for us. This boat is equipped with two Caterpillar uh, 300, 3208s. They're 375 horsepower each. Uh, so they'll get you going where you need to be fast right. if you don't want to go trawler speed. The other thing that's cool right here, if, if you can see, the solar panels. So they are having a hard top custom made for them. And they're going to move these solar panels to the hard top. So great use of space, especially for a liveaboard which is fantastic. Well, right away, I love that there's a handle. You can, we'll have Scott show you. There's a handle right there, easy to get onto. And look how homey, we've said this a million times, this salon is. It, it, it comes with this one <laughs> uh, gentleman sitting up reading a magazine. So this whole couch is storage. This is storage. They've got their TV. This is perfect. Because that was the thing, you know, Scott and I were talking uh, on our old boat, you had to sit upright in the settee. Yeah. It was not comfortable. It had a couch that was in the hallway. I'm not even sure what that was for. And so it was never cozy. And yeah. we had the TV that'd be up in the corner. This is perfect. You've got Petrofita. This looks actually like our condo. Kind of how our condo is set up. Uh, plus you have additional seating. All your controls are easy to access here. For your panel they too have an interior helm station uh but they don't use it um but this wheel i love this it's beautiful wheel. this and wheel work in here is, is, is amazing yeah and the light the other key thing is you know if you're gonna have a galley down i want light and you have a ton of light on this boat so that is another plus so let's check out the galley since we're talking mm -hmm. again great handles now I have to ask, what's the telephone for? That's an uh, intercom. intercom system between the upper helm here and there's one. In That's the pretty screen. cool. It's vintage. Yeah. It's, vintage. yeah. it's retro. That is it's cool. What the kids call retro these days. <laughs> so plenty of seating here, and underneath all these cushions is storage. All these cupboards are storage. So again, are you getting the idea? Under these steps, storage. So let's come on down in here. The height is great because you don't, again, you, there's no ceiling. Right. You just have the windshield above you. It's like the best skylight. Yeah. You don't have to turn on our old boat. It was so dark uh -huh. that we would turn on every light just to get a little bit of light. And it was just dark. Uh, good size refrigerator. It's almost as tall as me. That doesn't take much. <laughs> again, tons of storage. And I love that you have lots of counter space. Easy mm -hmm. to chop. You've got the princess stove. You even have a hood. That's cool. Yeah, you don't see an, an no. exhaust hood too often. That's <laughs> really cool. Yeah. Smart use with your wine glasses. Yeah. That takes up, again, more storage, more storage, more storage. And you know, for me, it's all about what's behind you. And a huge sink. So that's a thing for Scott. He will not buy a boat with a tiny sink. So that is a huge sink. That's a huge sink. <laughs> just now notice. And as Scott was saying, it's not stainless steel, which right. you almost always see. Yeah. What, what is that anyway? What is that material? It's plastic. It's kind of oh, is it just? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. and I love that you don't have to turn on the lights. That saves on electricity yeah. there too. Yeah. Really? So let's check out the yeah. guest. Go forward. Forward here. So as you know, for me to get up on a bed is hard when there's steps, but this one's actually pretty easy because it's just a couple climbs. It's not really steep, right. um, but there are a couple really cool things in this right away. Check out this coat closet. That's older winter clothes, coats, and then look how deep and big it is. You just, again, you can't find that type of nope. storage. This is a sh shower and they've shower, actually... Shower. You, I can't talk today. This is actually a shower and they're using it for storage. Why not? You don't need it. Yep. Use it. And the, it's a guess the way. I'm going to have Scott take a peek in this head because it is really beautiful. I mean, the wallpapering, it's not your standard plastic, white plastic that we have. Have you seen it yet? I have. But yeah. I'll, I'll get it. Okay. So I'll have you jump in and take yeah. a peek at yeah. it. Why don't you get out of there? I'll I'm going to jump in there. So maybe we can tell you while we're 
the state room, but there's a filler piece for that bed to make it a oh, full-size yeah. queen. There's a platform that latches in there, and then another piece of mat. Oh, it does? Oh, okay, cool. I'll mention that. Yeah, we keep that under the bed. In, the in there? Room. Okay. Yeah. So I'll add that. One thing that we just found out is that there is a filler piece that you can put in for this bed and turn it into a full queen size bed. Oh, wow. And they keep that in their master stateroom. So if you needed to make it bigger, you oh, can. Okay. Yeah. Convenient. Very much so. Right. so well, aft? Yep, yeah, let's go check out the aft cabin. Yeah. So right here is actually their combo washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. That's convenient. And look at the size of this master stateroom. It's a full walk around bed, tons of storage on both sides. You could use that as a desk because yeah. there's a stool there. So you could use it as a second kind of like office area. And it has so much storage, full, um, the separate shower, check out this head. Again, tons of storage. Nice. And, and it's tall, you know, I love, again, I love this, this wall covering. It's not oh, your the shower is over here. Yeah. Oh, I, I was looking at that. I thought that was the door. That no, was that's the separate shower. Oh, very cool. Yeah. That's very nice. So then if you're wondering what this doorway is, One well, I think it's pretty self-evident. <laughs> that's how is. you get into the engine room. So here we have our two 3208s. It's actually a fairly roomy engine room plenty of storage for their tools it isn't quite stand-up space but not too bad um here we have the dehumidifier trying to see got the tool set up for our forward I'm not sure we have the gen set here lots of stuff down here but plenty of Space. This is actually a really good, a really nice engine room. Well, a huge thank you yes. to Lori and Scott for inviting us onto their beautiful home. We're very jealous and envious. So again, if you ever decide you think you do want to sell, I'm just saying. But thank you. After you do the hard top. After yeah. <laughs> when you're done with all your projects, then give us yeah. a call. But thank you very much. We're going to go have yeah. some lunch now and uh, maybe meet the Harbor Master and go for a little walk. Yeah. So thank you again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, and more importantly, subscribe. Thank you for being subscribers. So yes. I got a little distracted as we were interviewing because I saw that Scott had a mug for Super Yacht Captain, mm -hmm. and that's another video mm -hmm. uh, channel that we follow. So um, follow them too. So we'll see you next time.